let's have a quick conversation about my GM rewards card. Is it really worth it? Like in the last few weeks and months, we've heard a lot of a buzz around this card. So we wanted to do an in-depth review and really help you understand whether or not this card is worth is worth it for you. So here's an overview I, will, I want you to pay attention to. So when you think about my, G, my GM rewards card, this is basically a, a rewards card that actually gives you a 4X to 7X. You have no annual fee. There's an intro offer of 15,000 points. We love that a lot. The regular APR is kind of decent too. You're looking at the 19% all the way to 30%. And in terms of credit score recommended, you're looking at the 590 all the way to 850. So minimum here is 590. And so, but the thing is you gotta be within the GM ecosystem. You have to be a GM lessee to really take advantage of all the, the perks that come with uh, this card, the My GM Rewards card, okay? By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here to have this quick convo with you about uh, the My GM Rewards card. So let's dig a little deeper here. So my DM, my GM Rewards card, it's actually called uh, GM's My Rewards Program. This is a uh, this is a program that already offers a solid loyalty rewards for nearly all things General Motors. So we're speaking about eligible new and used vehicles, parts and accessories, dealership service, and more. But the My GM Rewards card take things up a notch, boosting a generous rewards rate on both everyday and GM specific spending, as well as several valuable perks, including a $100 annual statement credit each year you spend $1,500 on fuel. Okay, so that said, the car's redemption restrictions and other fine prints may leave you idling, really, because indeed you can only redeem points towards an, an eligible GM purchase or by taking a big cut in point value for gift cards from a partner merchant. So you can see that the card is actually meant to actually like the, the potential is higher if you spend it with GM. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we really uh, understand that this is totally fine. And can you pay GM financial with a, with a credit card? A GM financial plan may occasionally actually uh, offer a rewards opportunity, though this is totally, it really depends on the geography, okay? But the, the thing here is that you can earn up to 7x points with this card. So overall, so here you have it, the card. Now, one thing I need to say also that is that this card is issued by uh, Marcus, by Goldman Sachs. So this is a really, uh, this is a, this is the, the issuer of this card. It, it is just a, a partnership between uh, Goldman Sachs and GM uh, on this particular one. So here are the pros and cons of uh, the My GM Rewards card. The pros. You have remarkably low rates and fees, no annual foreign transaction, balance transfer or cash advance fees or penalty APR for that matter. You have the 4X points is one of the best rewards rate available for general purchases, only when redeemed for a G GM related purchases. And uh, the card carries uh, World Elite MasterCard benefits. So this is, you have a, you know, this is pretty impressive in our view, considering there is no annual fee. And uh, the intro APR covers uh, purchases, which could be helpful for large expenses like car repairs. And uh, so this is kind of cool. You know, you have uh, no annual fee intro APR period. And on top of that, you have the automatic elite status. Fantastic. You know, also the high rewards rate. This is really great. So you can see that you have a constellation of, uh, of perks, constellation of pros here. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of uh, to, I want to remind you of uh, today's uh, topic. I'm explaining to you. I'm giving you the My GM Rewards card in that review that you need to consider before you buy anything with uh, GM or before you consider applying for this card. And uh, here are the cons that you need to think about. So the 15,000 points welcome offer is only worth up to uh, $150, but it requires spending $1,000 within the first three months. And unless you are redeeming for a new vehicle, lift vehicle or non-vehicle GM purchases, your rewards have uh, an annual redemption value cap. So $250 per year for gift cards and $1,000 for eligible used vehicles. And, uh, you know, strangely, the high world elite MasterCard benefit tier doesn't include driving based perks like roadside dispatch service, auto rental collision damage, whoever you have a uh, auto rental that collision damage coverage rather. You have travel insurance or even basic purchase protection. So this is a, you know, when we were analyzing the car that we were really a little disappointed in the, we were disappointed when it come, when it came to that particular aspect of things. And uh, so, and also uh, one detriment here is that rewards have limited flexibility. 
and you also have cap we have a cap on annual redemption so when you analyze this card the the my gm rewards card in and out you can see that you have of course you have a many interest in perks but you do have also some uh some cons that really may be a, a deal breaker for some individuals and, and families Let me give you more details about this card. I really want to dig a little deep. I want to dig deeper too, because this is a card that provides a lot of uh, interesting things, but you have to know exactly whether or not uh, it does affect, like it does affect you the right way. So just want to go back to the rewards rate. So the rewards rate, you have seven X points on paid GM certified service, GM genuine parts. You have AC Delco parts, eligible accessories, and most OnStar and GM connected services plans. You have 4x points on all other purchases. In terms of a welcome offer, you have 15,000 points after spending $1,000 on purchases within the first three months. First three months. The card has no annual fee, and you have a 0% APR intro, like intro APR for 12 months. There is no balance transfer offer on this card, and uh, basically the, and the regular APR after that. 20% to 30%. So this is kind of a, this is what it is. And the thing here is that you got to ask yourself whether or not this is an interesting, an interesting card for you. And one thing I want to say here is that when you really think about this, uh, this card, there's a, uh, there's a current welcome offer. And as a new card holder, as I just said, you can earn 15,000 bonus points after spending $1,000. Now, and you have to do this within three months. Now, is it, is it worth it? for you well this offer weighs in at a maximum value of 150 dollars if you redeem for eligible gm purchases though this plan this plan cannot really may not work out if you really don't find let's say an eligible service okay and but if you want to actually spend the money outside of gm uh, ecosystem your uh, the value of those uh, rewards goes all the way to 38 dollars think about it so that that's a huge that's like a, a 5x drop Okay, so those are things you really take, think to, need to think about. And on the one hand, welcome bonuses are not always available on niche co-branded cars, and a 1,000 spend should be relatively easy to reach in the first three months, especially if you use the card for most of your everyday spending for large expenses like a car repair. On the other hand, a $150 bonus is below average, even for a card with no annual fee. Many competitors offer at least a $200 value for the same or a lower spending requirements. So something to think about. The rewards rate, it is what it is, okay? But you, you will earn the most points on eligible purchases with, with a GM, including servicing, parts and accessories, as well as a lower flat rate on all other purchases. So you, the way you earn, you basically earn by spending cash within the GM uh, the GM ecosystem okay and to redeem it it's pretty simple also it depends on uh, but it has it has to happen within the GM ecosystem also and I want to talk to you about other uh, card holder perks so this my GM rewards card also has perks that might be interesting for you if you are thinking about uh, applying for the card. So when it comes to perks, the My GM Rewards card is a mixed bag, though it carries automatic gold tier rewards program status and a gold of and let's say a couple of um, valuable annual statement credits for vehicle detailing and fuel or electrical charging. The card lacks, in our view, many basic auto centric perks. So you will miss out on uh, perks like a roadside dispatch service. You have auto rental collision damage coverage travel insurance or purchase and extended warranty protections for your large purchases okay this is something to really think about by the way boss i want to quickly remind you of today's topic we're talking about the my gm rewards card this is a full uh, it's a full review for you so you have a clear understanding of what, what you want what you are getting yourself into and well you do have a higher redemption uh, limits you have higher redemption limits and automatic gold tier status so the my gm rewards like if you are a my gm rewards member you typically must rise through the loyalty programs ranked to uh, to obtain a higher annual redemption limits but the my gm rewards card gives you uh, the highest limits right off the bat so the card also starts you off with automatic gold tier status and gives you a card exclusive way to a step up to a platinum tier by spending at least fifteen thousand dollars in combined purchases each year so without the card qualifying for the platinum tier typically requires a three-year total spend of at least $110,000 
on the new GM vehicles or a combined spend of $1,500 to $2,500 on other GM purchases. So considering the platinum tier status only earns you an exclusive level of call center support and uh, access to tickets for experiences like concerts and sporting events. This, when, when you really think about it, this benefit does not amount to much unless you are a very big spender and use the GM rewards card for, for a lot of things. So this is a, something, sorry about that. So this is something you have to think about in terms of uh, possibilities, in terms of things that really work for, it, things that really uh, work in your favor. And uh, one thing I want to see here also is that when you think about this card, you have to always uh, pay attention to whether or not the card fits your specific your specific uh, budget. Okay. And uh, so you have up to $150 each year towards fuel and detailing. So this is what it is. And uh, so you have, uh, so you also have $1,500 on fuel when it comes to uh, eligible gas stations per calendar year, but you have to activate that the feature though. So it, this is kind of cool. And, but you also have word elite MasterCard benefits. You have DoorDash, you have Lits, you have HelloFresh, you have Shop Runner. So th those are things you have to think about. What about the suitability? So the suitability here, you have benefits and perks. So you have special offers for new card holders. You have a high rewards rate. You have automatic gold status. You have, uh, so you have also uh, the, uh, the the fact that you are tied to uh, the GM ecosystem. So you're tied to the dealership and redemption outside GM offer that really uh, those redemptions offer poor value. So my question to you is, uh, is this suitable for you? Like, does this match your family spending? Does this match your family's budget? Okay. Are you interested in earning like the 15,000 bonus points? Now, if you, if you earn those, are you willing to spend $1,000 in your first three months? Okay. Do you have large purchases? Do you have, do you have car repairs? Do you have stuff coming? Like you have to think about those things real, real quick. And this is really important to really pay attention to whether or not this makes sense a lot. Okay. And so, is the card APR suitable for you? Because we, we, don't forget, we're talking about 20% all the way to 30%. So this is kind of uh, important to really think about as well. Okay. I mean, of course, the card offers a high rewards rate. That's true. But is that rewards rate like really beneficial for you and your family? Because when we talk about car car expenses or car repairs and, and what have you, those expenses really are like they can go real far if you have a family. But if you are by yourself, if you're single and or you if you, if you don't have a family, those expenses are not really like I'm talking about the average though. The average American doesn't spend that much if they are living by themselves on car expenses. But if you are a family, then yes, you have a, you know, a, a, let's say a field trips or, you know, visit family visits, all that kind of stuff. So you, you use the car a lot more. And if you, if you happen to live in suburbia, then even the expenses are, are even higher versus if you were living in, in the city. So you gotta also think about the high rewards rate. Is that is that something that you are interested in? Does it add value to your life? I mean, what about the automatic goal status? So the whole thing is you have a constellation of benefits, but do those benefits overall add value to your life? You have to think about that. Let's think about the rates and fees. So I have talked about the, about the rates and fees, but uh, I want to really go, go back again and uh, and ask you, are you willing to like, are you comfortable with uh, the 19 to, to 30 percent? And remember, the MyGM Rewards card will, will qualify you if you have a FICO score of 590 or 600 minimum. And the question is, if you have a 600, 600 uh, FICO score, do you do you want to submit to a um, an APR that they're high? Because 20 to 30 percent is really high i mean you know there are cars out there that, uh, that offer perks similar perks they are way better they, they actually give you a, a delta a, a range an apr range that goes from 15 percent all the way to 22 percent 23 percent totally possible and then when you even get into the um the credit union credit card you actually have a much lower apr so you know is it really worth it this is this is something you have to think about yourself because retail retail cars and retail cars such as uh, my gm rewards card and other co-branded cars are infamous for periods of high rates and fees but the gm rewards cards fees are among the best we have seen in this category because uh 20 to 30 percent is still high but relative to others uh, in the industry they're still decent there are no annual fees 
foreign transaction fees, balance transfer fees, cash advance fees, or even a penalty APR to worry about. No annual fee cards are a dime a dozen, and several of those waive foreign transaction fees and the penalty APR. However, it's very rare to find a card with no balance transfer or cash advance fees. And the card also comes with a 0% intro APR offer on new purchases for your first 12 months as a card holder. So think about this is really interesting. And uh, so, you know, after which the ongoing variable APR, it goes from, as, as I just said, 20% to 30%. And uh, so, you know, while this is far from the longest intro APR offer out there, it's still a welcome feature, especially considering the, the card is geared toward auto spanning and uh, the intro APR could allow you to chip away at large expenses like car repairs while completely avoiding interest charges. So this is a, you know, overall, this is a good offer. The car does not carry an intro APR offer on balance transfers, but it's low end ongoing APR, 19% to 29% is just under the average credit card, AP, credit card APR. So overall, pretty decent offer. Before I close to this conversation, I want to talk to you about the substitute. So there are some rival cars out there. So if you are considering the My GM Rewards card and you think you don't like the the offer or you don't like the fact that you are tied to, uh, you don't like the fact that you 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 are tied to a dealership, you can consider some uh, you know I would say some alternatives. So for example, you have the uh, the Wells Fargo uh, Active Cash card. You also have the Capital One. Walmart rewards MasterCard, or you have, uh, you know, so those are the two that we have identified. For example, if you were to com to compare and contrast uh, the My GM rewards card and the Wells Fargo Active Cash card, the uh, the GM rewards cards for points on all non GM purchases technically provides double the the rewards value of the Wells Fargo Active Cash card. But the Active Cash has an advantage with its unlimited two percent cash rewards on purchases which can go right into your wallet instead of uh, into a GM discount. And a 2% flat rewards rate is one of the best you will find on, on automotive purchases and the car's $200 cash rewards bonus after you spend $500 in your first three months is great. Plus the active cash can uh, keep interest at bay on un upcoming auto expenses longer. For 15 months with its 0% intro APR on purchases and qualifying balance transfers from account opening, then the APR goes from uh, 19% all the way to 30%. And so this is kind of important. And what's more, the active cash is a visa signature card that comes with a few benefits that may be more helpful for drivers than subscription service perks. So these features include a 24 seven pay per use roadside dispatch an auto rental collision damage waiver and Wells Fargo's staple cell phone protection against the eligible damage on, or theft up to $1,200 per year across up to two 600 claims minus a $25 deductible. Then you have uh, the, the other card, the Capital One Walmart Rewards MasterCard. So despite not offering an intro uh, purchase APR on or boosted rewards on GM purchases, the no annual fee Capital One Walmart Rewards MasterCard still stands as one of the better rewards cards for automotive related purchases because it's 5% cashback at walmart.com and 2% in store to 5% in store during the first 12 months when using Walmart Pay gives you, in our view, excellent rewards earning potential thanks to the superstore's sweeping auto department. So the boosted cash back rate even applies to Walmart Auto Care Center, the, the, the service here. You have tires, you have parts, you have accessories and more. So you will earn 2% back on travel, restaurants and Walmart's fuel station purchases, handy categories for commuters and fans of, of road trips. So if you happen to be in that, in that, uh, I would say in that categorization, this is kind of cool. And uh, if you are more of a wholesale shopper and prefer full throttle gas rewards, the Costco Anywhere Visa card by City is a good alternative for pit stops. And similarly, this card earns 4% cashback on eligible gas and EV charging stations on up to $7,000 per year, then 1% cashback plus 3% back on restaurants and eligible travel. So this is a kind of a, what you have to think about. So. To sort of close to this conversation, is the My GM Rewards card worth it? If you are willing to funnel all your rewards towards the cost of a GM car or service, parts and repairs at a GM dealership, then the My GM Rewards card can offer terrific rewards value and uh, some solid perks with remarkably few fees. That said, the card's laundry list of restrictions narrows the 
already niche audience to the point that only GM loyalists can spend thousands on GM purchases each year. Okay, this is really, so if you're not a GM loyalist, if you're not an aficionado or aficionado, you're not going to see the benefits here. You should you should mainly consider the, the My GM Rewards card if you usually swap out leased vehicles or service several vehicles at the dealership. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just quickly giving you a, a My GM Rewards card full review. And we, I give you the overview, the pros and cons, the details, the suitability, the rates and fees, the rivals. That's it. Thank you. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.